That's how they say hello and goodbye in Greece. And that's where I've just come from. Ooh, what were you doing in Greece, Stella? Well, today is the day for my bazooki lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and while I was there, I also got some more stories. What kind of stories? <laughs> well, stories that were written in Greece a long, long time ago by a man named Aesop. And I thought of one of those stories when I heard someone say, well, that's what they wanted. Hey, I said that. <laughs> yes, I know you did. <laughs> okay, and Jeff, would you help me tell the story? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Well, once upon a time, there was a very happy dog. And do you know why he was happy? Because he had a great, big, yummy bone to chew on. Well, the dog decided to have a little picnic by the edge of a pond. But just as he was getting ready to enjoy his bone, he looked into the water. And what do you think he saw? A fish? A frog? A turtle? He saw his very own reflection but he thought it was another dog with another bone. Ooh, thought the dog. I want that bone, too, and I'll make the other dog give it to me. First, he tried whimpering and whining and looking so sad. But the other dog didn't give him the bone. Next, he tried snarling and growling and looking mean. But the other dog still didn't give him the bone. Well then, thought the dog, I'll just have to grab that bone. But as soon as he opened his mouth, his bone dropped into the water. And it sank to the bottom of the lake. So, instead of having two bones, the greedy dog had none. <laughs> and the moral of the story is... Don't let the things you want make you forget the good things you already had. <laughs> the end! <laughs> now that was a doggone good story. <laughs> Thank you, Star. You are very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but I really must be going. So, as they say in Greece, yes. Yes. Toodles. See you soon. Oh, wait, wait, was that?